Hey everybody, it's me, Justin, aka Goodwill Hunter, and I'm back with more pickups. Who'd have thunk it? I think I just renamed my channel to Pickups featuring Goodwill Hunter and Teddy Ruxpin. Say hi, Teddy. Alright, well anyways, so I got pickups. I got a lot of Xbox stuff. I think a, a bunch of Xbox 360, some Pawn uh, Shop, some DVDs, current gen. I got a whole video dedicated to electronics and some of the bigger items that I've picked up. Uh, and probably some other ones in the future. I want to do uh, some other videos, but let's get some of this. This, this it keeps accumulating. It, it, it's it's a, it's a constant struggle with this room, and with me going out. And the more I watch YouTube, the more I chat with some of the other fellow YouTubers: JCAU99, Retro Rewinder, CJR, uh, Burning Toys. Uh, just commenting with other people, Kit171, Ed T1138, uh, Metal Jesus Rocks. Fuck no! So yeah, uh, I got a lot of Xbox stuff, so let's dive right into that. Uh, no particular order, but tonight we're going to be drinking something a little bit different. Not really. It is cider, but it's Smith & Forge, the hard cider. Uh, it's a little bit uh, sweeter. Uh, not as tart, so on a scale of bitterness, I would probably give it about a six. Um, it's okay. I can't get drunk off of it, even though it says it's six percent alcohol. I, I could probably drink an 18 pack, and it really wouldn't do much to me. Um, but that's why I have other stuff upstairs. So after that, I'm gonna watch some Trailer Park Boys, drink a couple of these, and then maybe have some a little bit more bitter. It's Granny Smith Apple uh, Woodchuck Cider. I would probably give that about a seven. It's a little bit bitter, not as bitter as something like a uh, Blackthorn, but that's maybe a different video segment. I don't know. Uh, the different ciders. I like ciders. I've been on a cider kick. Not really liking beer. Bitter does not really have that much of flavor. But anyways, shall we? We shall. It really does taste like apple juice. Kick it off. Pick this up at a Goodwill. It is a Blockbuster exclusive Xbox, original Xbox game. They made a bunch of other types of games, but it's part of the Outlaw Golf series. Um, they had Outlaw Tennis. This is, or Outlaw Beach Volleyball, or one of those. This is nine more holes of Xmas. So, exclusive to Blockbuster. Um, I don't know if it's only like two, you know, two characters, um, nine holes, but it, it, it's a funny series because the better uh, shots you get, you could build up your, your gauge, and then like at the end, you can do like a uh, super special, and usually it's you know a little bit raunchy or just over the top. But it, it it wasn't that bad of a series. Some of these were purchased during that GameStop binge that I went through with the Wii. Um, I had to you know I was in the store picking up really 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 cheap Wii games, and uh, of course checked out Xbox 360, PS3, and then it was a whole buy two get one free. Um, Akai Katana. Uh, it's a bullet hell shooter uh, from. It's a cave. It's a cave shooter. It's called uh, Akai Katana, and uh, it's it's pretty interesting. I, I have played it, um, and it was only like six bucks, I think, or five or six dollars at the GameStop. So, yeah, it was complete. And uh, you know, for five six bucks, I'm gonna pick these up only because shooters are kind of timeless. You can pop them in on really any system, and they're really great. So I decided to pick that up while it was cheap. This game I found at a pawn store for, I think they were half price, so I think I got this for like five bucks, and it is a copy of Alan Wake. I have been wanting to get this game on the 360 for like ever, but it's always like an 11 to seven, I think it's like a 16, 17 dollar game at GameStop, maybe 11 now, um, but it's still more. I don't like to pay anything over like eight dollars, so to find it at a pawn store, um, yeah. And I'm probably going to go back, but this was the only good one they had. So to find it for five bucks, that's a pretty solid deal. Um, it uses like a flashlight, kind of like that's how you stun the darkness and the people trying to get you. So really interested in playing this. Will I ever? Probably not. I found these at the Mexican thrift store down the street from where I live. Um, I don't know why one of these was priced higher than the other, but they're both Xbox 360 titles. Uh, the first one I picked up was... Medal of Honor, the limited edition, and they wanted, uh, I don't know if you can see that, $3.93. Um, I haven't, you know, this wasn't really well received, but uh, for four bucks, um, and a, you know, not an exclusive game, but a game I didn't have, first person shooter, it can't be that bad. Um, it's by DICE and EA, yeah, whatever. But they were going up against Call of Duty Black Ops on the 360, and this is 
a whopping $1.91. So $4 for this one and $2 for this one. I don't see the reasoning. They were both complete um, and they're both really solid titles. Granted, I haven't played this, but I did see it. It looked actually pretty good. Will I ever play it? Probably not. Don't know where I picked this. Oh, I picked this up at a Goodwill. Uh, yes, Sonic. Uh, so it's a really stupid title. Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing with Banjo-Kazooie. Now, if that is not a mouthful, I don't know what it is. So apparently, it's the Banjo and Kazooie are exclusive to the Xbox 360 version, obviously because Microsoft had purchased Rare, so they were able to include them as additional characters. Um, I've heard it's pretty good. Will I ever play it? Probably because it is a fun little kart racer. I think I picked this up at a GameStop. It is the Namco Museum Virtual Arcade. I think I paid $16 for this, but I had like five or six dollars in store credit, which yeah, that's still a little bit. Um, but the only reason I buy these is because they have the, well, it's a physical copy of Xbox Live Arcade games. You got Pac-Man, Galaga, uh, Xevious, Mr. Driller, and five more. Um, Dig Dug, Pac-Man, Pole Position, Galaxian, and 21 more, I guess, classic arcade games. So I thought that was a pretty solid compilation that when the servers shut down and you don't have any way of playing because you... I don't know, your system crashed, you'll be able to still play mine. And another one I picked up at a Goodwill was the uh, Xbox Live Arcade. This is kind of like a compilation. Um, it has only five games, I guess, and maybe like five trials. The Championship Pac-Man, Uno, uh, Feeding Frenzy, and Luxor 2. And then I guess it's got a bunch of uh, demos or trials. Um, I really wanted to pick it up because it had the Pac-Man Championship Edition. And I think I only paid uh, $3.25, so again, one of those exclusives, I don't even know why. This one, trying to pick this one up for a while too. Um, did I get the manual for this? No, I didn't. I think maybe I got it later. Um, Project uh, Silphied, Slyphied, Slyphied, Slippy Toad, Arc of Deception. I've heard this is a okay it's um they had a sega cd game i think it was called silphy slippy toad arc of no it wasn't called slippy toad uh but it was called pro not project silphy but silphy or slyphy or syphilis something along those lines i don't know how to pronounce it um but this one's kind of like a uh open not open world but uh panzer no not panzer dragoon um a game where you can fly around ace combat it's kind of like ace combat in outer space you know you fight those battles i think totally off of my head and then we got a stack of xbox original xbox games i picked these all up again at the mexican thrift store down the street um i think i paid three dollars for all of these you're probably like three you paid three dollars for an xbox game yes because these are actually pretty decent a lot of these are dupes because i have systems i think i have like three or four systems i'm gonna mod and then i i don't like to if, if i can't find a hard drive to put in i usually just bundle it with a couple of games sell them on craigslist for 30 40 bucks and yes people do buy them still um xbox music mixer i for some reason thought this was xbox or the mtv music generator i love MT, uh, mtv music generator i had so much fun i think i had it on the ps1 making friggin audio tracks just making songs and i would put them on like a, a tape and bring it to a party and play it and i swear to god dude i made one and we were watching freaking et and it's the scene where um et gets quarantined and he's like dying and elliot's like freaking out and it like the music was going the beat of the music was going in like in tune with the music on the TV and like the whole mood, it was all like, kind of like, oh my God, is he gonna die? I shit you not, dude. I was drinking, but I swear to God, it was almost as epic as Dark Side of the Moon and The Wizard of Oz combined. That's how great it was. This is a piece of shit. Mist 3 Exile. Um, honestly, I wouldn't have picked it up. I found it like the next day on the PS2. Um, but it is Mist. It's the third installment. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with Mist. It's one of those 
point and click. Well, not point. Yeah, I guess it's kind of a point and click. You got to solve a lot of puzzles. It's really heavy. You really have to pay a lot of attention, draw notes, uh, mind, mind fuck you all to hell. And I like to have. I like to think that I can solve some of them, or at least wanted to back in the day, and I, I just couldn't. Um, you had to be at least thinking outside of the box, and at some point you had to have an attention span. And when it comes to attention spans and, and games like this, I guess I just don't have the patience. But I still like to go, and I still like to give them a try, uh, because I still like to keep the uh, neuroplasticity um, alive and youthful. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. Um, I think I paid the... F Did I ever play the first one? No, I paid, uh... I paid... I paid three dollars. No, I played, uh... Champions of Norath and Return to Arms. So I never played any of the Dark Alliance. Uh, couldn't tell you much about it. Looks maybe like kind of like Diablo. So... Um, all these games were complete. Can't go wrong with getting a copy of Fable. Gotta have it. Um, this, honestly... Fable 1... And the Lost Chapters, excellent, excellent games. They kind of weren't so good second and a third one. So unfortunate, but it was a good idea, good IP. Just, they just couldn't, the whole, um, what was it? The whole uh, system of either being, the morality system, either being, um, what is it, being uh, an angel or a devil? You could get points for doing good deeds or you could get points for being bad. The more bad, you get horns, the better, you had like an aura. It was cool. Maybe a little bit too ambitious, but still cool. I've heard nothing about this, Metal Dungeon. Um, I actually wanted this at a Goodwill and I left it and it, uh, it was still there when it was on half price. It just looks like a dungeon, kind of like a dungeon crawler and uh, you just kind of plow through it to get through all the dungeons. Couldn't tell you much about it, doubt it's very good. We got both uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 and Knights of the Old Republic 2, otherwise known as KOTAR, for all of you people who don't know anything about Knights of the Old Republic. Um, which I thought they were both by Bioware, but I guess Knights of the Old Republic 2 is made by Obsidian, whereas the first one was made by Bioware. And I did play, I don't think I played all the way through um, the first one, but I played pretty far. Um, I did end up getting the this guy right here. I can't remember what his name was. Um, he was like this freaking sadistic robot, and all I wanted to do was murder people. And he was kind of like one of those secret characters you could get as a, as a, as what, a buddy? As a groupie. Evil Dead, a fistful of boomstick. Um, I have this on the PS2. Or no, I picked this up on the Xbox 2. Not the Xbox One, but the original Xbox. This is the second copy, which makes it Xbox 2. Right? Um, couldn't tell you much about it. Looks like a uh, zombie shoot -em based off the Evil Dead franchise. I'm pretty sure it's probably voiced by Bruce Campbell. Um, Jade Empire. Found another copy. This is not the one I have. The, the one I have... Um, the one I have has got a foil cover, and I think it has one extra playable uh, class, which I think is the Monk. Um, but yeah, another game by Bioware, kind of a, along the same lines as Knights of the Old Republic. I think they made this first, then they made Star Wars, but I could be wrong. But an excellent game. I did play through that one. I think I played all the way through. I'm pretty sure I did. And then the Elder A A O A Elder Scrolls Three: Morrowind. Not the game of the year edition, so this one sucks. Gotta get the game of the year one. It comes with two extra expansions. That's the one to get. So that was a lot of Xbox goodness. I could say, I don't know if anyone out there even likes Xbox stuff. I do. I actually enjoy it. I did have an Xbox uh, when it was relevant and I was burning games, but I did own games and it's somewhat easier nowadays to just find the games rather than go through the hassle of downloading them all again because I don't even know if you can still even download the ISOs. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you still can but it's so much easier. I don't have all that shit. I have some of them backed up but not all of them. It's just so much easier to just take one off the shelf pop it in. Bam. So it's too legit, too legit to quit. Hey, hey, gotta go. What do you know? This has been Google Hunter saying fuck you. Peace. How do you like that? 
crap ton of Xbox games. I know, it's the OG Xbox, but I still love it. Um, I still remember it. I still remember playing through Ninja Gaiden. Um, that game I had a lot of fun with, and I'm probably going to go back and play it because it's one of the few games, I think, on the original Xbox that I actually ended up beating. Um, Jade Empire, I think, was one of them, too. I mean, there really are some pretty good um, games for the original Xbox, so... If you don't have an original Xbox, they're great for modding. They're great just to have. Um, some games only came out on the original Xbox. Um, and other games, you know, like Halo, they're always fun to play on LAN parties. But, yeah, stay tuned to the channel. Check me out on all that social media, you know, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, whenever I get around to it. And, uh, yeah, I got some, some nice uh, pickups coming in the not-too-distant future. But uh, we'll see uh, how long it actually takes me to edit and get it to you all. So as always, have a good time. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.